What's good, CBT fam? Before y'all get into the video, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell to get notified every time I upload content. Peace. What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Big Cool, coming to you from Colossal Boxing Talk. Colossal Boxing Talk is associated with Three Kings Boxing under the movement umbrella, and I am back with another video. Heavyweight contender, Jarrell Big Baby Miller, um, got a unanimous decision victory over Johan Duhafis. I didn't even wait for the scorecards to be read because he was in total domination of this fight. I didn't get into the fight um, into the fourth round. Um, from that point on, uh, Jarrell Miller was just able to do whatever he wanted to, able to land the left and right uppercuts, uh, left hooks, right hands. For a guy that big, he does have decent hand speed. Um, he seems to carry the weight well. Um, he didn't seem fatigued. He was hit with some good shots, uh, some hard shots by Duhafis, but <clears throat> it wasn't nothing that would, you know, put him in serious danger of being, you know, hurt or, you know, knocked out. Um, I'm not high on Jarrell uh, Miller. You know, this is no hate, but I don't, I just don't see it. Um, yes, for a guy that big, like I said, he's able to carry that weight well. He seems to be in good condition, um, has good stamina. Um, the power isn't there, uh, and I'm th I don't think the boxing skills are there either. You know, I think once he steps up, uh, his level of competition against, uh, Alexander Pavek and Luis Ortiz, Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury, I think that's when he falters. Um, his power, um, uh, isn't there. I don't think the skills are there, um, to be able to compete with those top five guys that I just mentioned. Um, over a 12-round fight. I could be wrong, but I just don't see it. But props on him for looking better in this fight than he did in his last fight uh, against uh, Gerald Washington or uh, whoever the fuck it was. Uh, or not, not Washington, it was um, Walk. Uh, but still, he didn't look like a top five uh, heavyweight to me in the world. Um, like Roy Jones Jr. said during the telecast. And also got to throw in Joseph Parker. Um, I think that'll be a good fight. I like to see that, but I think Joseph Parker um, is better as well. You know, he showed me a lot in that fight with uh, Anthony Joshua, the way he was able to be, you know, very good defensively. Um, he has good pop, uh, has a good jab. He has quick hands. He's elusive. He's agile. So, I mean, props to Jarrell Miller for getting the victory, but I don't see him being a factor really. Um, when he steps up, of course, he'll get his title shot um, because he's close. I think he may face uh, Manuel Char for the WBA regular title, whichever WBA title that is it, that uh, Char holds um, if he can't get Anthony Joshua next. Um, but, like I said, good performance by Jarrell Miller. Doesn't do anything for me um, and how I viewed him going into the fight. Going into this fight and where his um, where his standing is amongst the heavyweight division. If you like this video, do what I told you to do in the beginning. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Head over to Facebook. Smack that like button on the Colossal Boxing Talk Facebook page. Follow me on Twitter at Colossal CBT. Shout out to everybody in the movement. This movement with us. Head over to 3kingsboxing.com daily for your latest and greatest unfiltered, unbiased boxing news. Reported the way it should be. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.